Is Jesus Just My Older Brother? Next on the Ex-Mormon Files. Hi, welcome to another episode of the Ex-Mormon Files. I'm your host, Bishop Rule, and I appreciate you joining with us. And today we have Carol, Carrie Rule. Yes. That's a great Hi. name. Hi, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and is that, what, what nationality is that? Uh, Irish. Is it? Mm -hmm. Rule. Yep. Anyway, Carrie's here to share her story, and it's just fascinating. I, I'm just really pleased that you'd come and share. And so, Thanks tell us where were you born me. and what's your background a little bit. I was born here in Salt Lake. Were you? Mm -hmm. Went to school here. And yeah. Everything. Yep. Been here forever. Yeah. And attended um, school and seminary all four Where'd years. Where'd you go to high school? Murray. Did you? Murray, Murray high, high school. school. Yeah. yeah. And um, seminary, you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Active in the church, I guess. I was. I was active. Born in the covenant. Or? Nope. Oh, we boy. ended up going to the temple. My folks went to the temple. I, I was probably eight. Oh. And we went through then. Got sealed. Huh? Yeah, and got sealed. So you were, and that's about the time you were baptized too, I guess. Yeah, it couldn't have been too far. Yeah. I guess yeah. so. Just kind of a normal bringing up then mm -hmm. and seminary going to church and mm -hmm. being a good mormon girl and yeah what, that's exactly right did you have the expectation of uh you know like young women are told and want to do marry a return missionary oh, yes. go to the temple and yeah that was what you were supposed to do yeah. and that was what i intended and i did do that did you really yeah i did i okay. found the return missionary and what temple did you get married in um the salt lake so yeah, example. classic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where we got married too. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. And uh, children, you have. I have three sons. Three sons. And okay. They're all grown up now. Okay. So. You're raising them in the church, I guess. Mm -hmm. Active. Or... I was. Yeah. And, and you until... had some callings, I guess. Oh yeah, I did. I had. I was. Um, in the nursery, like I think pretty much everyone yeah. is. <laughs> Takes their turn. <laughs> yeah, they get their turn. Primary teacher, yeah. um, relief society. Secretary in the presidency. In the presidency, and I taught. I taught at Relief Society, oh. one of the classes in there. Anything <clears> ever <throat> come up that raised a question in your mind? That... Nothing specific. I just didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I would go, and I'd think, "What is wrong with me?" You know, and we'd go in and we'd have the figured, lesson. Figured and, it was wrong with something. Wrong, it was wrong right, with you. Right, something was wrong with me because I'm not feeling all this spiritual <laughs> things I'm supposed to be. You know, and I tried. I tried so hard. You know, yeah. to fit in and. And we lived in Utah County at the time, and so it was extra. Extra Mormon. Yeah. Extra Mormon and. I was like, I am just, Not you know, but I just was quiet about it because. Yeah, that's if, what you do. Yeah, you can't question no, or bring and, it up. Well, when I did, I'd kind of, you know, get, get the lecture a little bit about what I should be. You know, if you read your scriptures more, pray harder, serve more. Yeah. You know. It'll all make sense. Yeah, it'll something. come to you one day. You'll know. Or same thing. Same with the temple. How, about, how was that experience? The temple, um, it was very, it was really disappointing. It was, was it? Yeah, when I went through, because you have this idea that it's going to be this fantastic spiritual experience, you know, and yeah. I remember going through it and thinking, this is really weird, not at all, you know, what I had thought. And then at the start, that part where they say, before you go in and you learn anything, they say if you do not uh, um, go along or want to agree with the things we do in here, covenants and whatnot, you're free to get up and go. And I'm thinking, well, I don't know what they are yet. <laughs> I haven't read the, read the contract. Yeah, yet. I haven't read the contract, and so why would I, you know? But and then I'm looking at my family and I'm thinking, well, this is what you're brought up, you know, yeah. the idea. This is what you're supposed to do if you're going to go to heaven, then. You have to do that. You got to go through the steps. Yeah. So, did you go back I much did. to the temple? Mm -hmm. My, um, we went every month. Really? You know? Yeah, every month as you're supposed to. And see, I wasn't. It was pretty good going, but it wasn't a monthly commitment. Yeah. We, we found other things to do, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Well, I wanted to. 
<laughs> but it. yeah, I was still looking and hoping for some. Something. Still hoping, <laughs> you know, and and you know, going through there and just just thinking that I remember, you know, when you go through the veil and I think, why is this so complicated? And and that's just what I kept thinking. This shouldn't be this complicated. Why would God have us do handshakes and secret codes? To get into heaven he's god he knows who i am and what's going on and in my heart and and why why you're, you're just a thinker aren't <laughs> uh, you? oh i was and and i remember the in the movie there was a minister in oh, yeah. in the movie part i don't know if he's still in there or not or what they do but at the time they kind of Made him well. He oh, was the yeah. devil, I think, oh, yeah. or something. Yeah. I, it was so long ago, but well, he was high, he was, a, he was employed. employed by Satan. Yeah. Yes, and I remember him him saying, "Well, do you believe God is as big enough to fill the universe yet small enough to dwell in your heart?" And yeah, and it, it was kind of mockery. And oh, I was thinking, "Isn't he?" <laughs> you know, back then I was thinking, "Yes, that is. I think that is how That's he a God is." I can worship. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, he's. God, you yeah. know, but apparently that was incorrect, right. you know, and I'm like, I don't, I, it was just so crazy to me. Interesting that yeah. you'd have those thoughts and I, whatever thoughts I had, I guess I just buried, you know. And just, yeah, just, well, you do after a while, yeah. you you think, you know what, this is what I'm supposed to do. I guess yeah. I'll just shut up and put up. <laughs> what would you think of Jesus at this point in your life? If you can remember back that He far. was kind of lost as far as you know the in there you know I I always you know and they'd say don't you know, you're not to pray to Jesus you know and right. I think but I talk to him a lot you know I mean I always did you always have. I always have but I couldn't that's, that's tell anyone that because that's wrong wow. you know and and I remember in Sunday school them saying about the, we're going to be kings and queens of our own world. And I remember thinking, that sounds like hell. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had three sons, and just having those boys when they would fight would, and I think, why would I want a whole world <laughs> of, kids. of kids? And, and you know, and you love them, but you watch the horrible things that they do to each other. Oh, why would I want a whole world of that? And I remember it's an interesting perspective. Yeah. yeah. And I remember telling people in the ward that and they just look at me like not knowing what to do. <laughs> what do we do with this caring person yeah, here? <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, I had some people pretty you know, tied up and I'm going, No, really, really, you know. Did the bishop ever come and talk to you about your thoughts? No, nothing? not really. But Maybe. some people just look at me and they were probably just nodding, going just to appease me. Yeah, yeah okay, you know, but she'll it's like figure it out. Yeah, yeah, someday she'll get it. She's just not there yet, you know? Yeah. And then I would hear, Well I think you've you've been deceived and I'm like, Bye <laughs> You know, by who? Answer the questions, you know? So the Bible, what did that, did that? Uh, it was just kind of a, I didn't. Did you bring it to church every Sunday? Um, usually? <laughs> no, I didn't always bring it because I was wrestling with the kids, kids and, yeah. you know. But, you know, I had it in my quad. Yeah. So, That's funny. you know, it was there, but I didn't necessarily, oh, I didn't read it. Yeah. So you go on in life and then what happens? <laughs> so I go on in, in life, I end up. And getting again, it got a divorce, mm -hmm. and then I, I went to several different churches. Well, before that, I ended up. I think what my my last straw when I went to church was, I found I found out that I had cancer the second time. I had just oh. it was terrible, terrible time. Just found out I um, that I had it again. I had three little boys. They were seven, 11, and 14. And um, newly single. Mm -hmm. And one morning I got up, it was Sunday, and I was so desperate and so distraught. I was like, I'm gonna, I, let's, let's go to church. And so I gathered the, the kids 
and we went in and I was just hoping for some hope for some some kind of some, message or um, something message so. something something to keep going you know because I knew I had to mm -hmm. and um, something to lift me you know so we went in and we sat down in sacrament meeting yeah. and the speaker came up and she started talking about Lorenzo Snow, about the kind of house they had and that they had in you know, whatever farmland and like details kind of about a history, of, a history you know. of this guy's life. And I remember sitting in there and I was thinking, I don't care. <laughs> Who cares? What does that have to do with now? Yeah. And anyone in here and people who need some spiritual food, yeah. you know? And, and the more I sat there and the more they talked, the angrier I got. Oh and I, pretty soon I was, I, I couldn't, I, I was just going to explode. <laughs> and I looked at my boys and I go, let's go. And I took them out. In the middle of the meeting? In the middle of the meeting. <laughs> right then, I couldn't sit there another minute. I'm and proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. And that's the last time I went back. And I was like, there, there's no God there. It's, it's not a lot of worship, is it? There it's was not, no worship. Yeah. It was more, these are the things you need to do. And, yeah. you know, and let's learn about this prophet, prophet that died... 100 years ago or whatever it was you know and i'm thinking oh gosh you know and and so then after that i i pretty much went a wall from religion and all together at that long? point probably 10 years oh my goodness and i now you were you did you consider yourself atheist or agnostic? No, or I always knew there was God. Jesus I always God, knew like there was Jesus. Before. Yep, always, always. But you just had a sense that the church wasn't. Did you had you were you aware of any anti? I guess they call anti-Mormon material at nope. that point. I know. You just I, had this heart for. I just knew. Just knew there was something wrong. Yeah, I just knew there was something wrong. And well, you had sensed it over the years. Mm -hmm. It sounds like the temple and other things, and you yep. just. But it was always put on back on right. me. It was me that had the problem. Had the problem. Yeah. And so then I, and then finally I just started reading. I started finding, I found Sean McCraney on like years and I'd be working and I worked at home. So I'd have him on the TV and I'd be watching him. I think that's not true. That's not true. Well, isn't it fascinating those people that would call in to the yes. show and I could hear myself yeah. Be that person on the phone, yeah. challenging him. Yeah. Anyway, and he'd go, go don't, don't listen to me. Go find out. And so go, and read. go read it. And I'm like, okay, I will, you know, <laughs> and then another, and this is kind of embarrassing, but, it, um, that show, it's that cartoon. It's a terrible cartoon. I hated it. My um, kids made me watch it. I know. The one episode. Do you know which one I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, Little Short Kids. Yes, oh, Little Short Kids. what are they called? Kenny was in it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. they had the Mormon yeah, one. Yeah. And I watched that, and that's what the first time I learned about the rocks and the hat. Is it really? <laughs> it was. I and, I and I was like, that's not right. That is so funny. South Park. South Park, South you're Park. right. You're right. And, and I was like, that's not true, guys. And I mean, they're laughing, and I'm laughing because it's funny, but I'm like, that's not right. You're watching it with the kids? Yeah, my sons were like, oh, here, you, God. Mom, you've got to watch this, you know? And so. Now they're older now because yeah, it's 10 years, 10 yeah, years later, or, this, or several years yeah, later. Yeah, they were teenagers, yeah, you yeah. know, at the time. But that's when. I, and you started looking? Oh, yeah. And yeah. And just the perception of the, on that show, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's, you know. It was just crazy. So that funny how God works, isn't it? Right. Yeah. And so <laughs> it still makes me laugh. And my sons, we still laugh about some stuff on there. But that was my first rock in the hat experience. And so then I just started looking and looking. What else is there? Huh? And yeah. And if that's true, what? And then I found that the um, all the different versions of the. the first vision oh, I, yeah. didn't know about that I didn't either didn't know um, Joseph Smith and 
I mean, I, I polygamy I just kind of knew about and I just pushed it aside. It was like, yeah. oh, that's what we they did. We don't know details, right. but it's kind of, well, it's in our history. Yeah, and, yeah. that's what they did. Brigham Young did it, but. Yeah. Um, yeah. But the 11 women that he that married, that were married. already married. Crazy. And the 12 year olds. And or maybe fourteen or fourteen but, or whatever. Still, still doesn't matter. Yeah, um, be in jail now. Right, he and Warren would be roomies, <laughs> <laughs> so he couldn't be a principal or a school teacher. That's for know? sure. And let alone a prophet, right? <laughs> right, and it's like, yeah, that's not a prophet of God. That's yeah. you know, and then. Um, learning about high priest and that Jesus Christ was the only high priest. And Things that we had never ever right. thought about. Now, did this draw you to a church or did you have to? Then I started going to different churches. Did you? And I probably went to five or ten did you different really? churches. What did you sense from your visits there? They were just so different. And it, and it, and it was funny because I remember way back when I was active, you know, and, and driving by and seeing people come out of a Christian church and they were all in their jeans and yeah. and thinking, oh my gosh, you know, and being that judgmental yeah. person thinking, that's just lazy, <laughs> you know, why would you, you know, and now I go to a church, I go to Hope Church and wear jeans and, um, you know, you're, you're nice. But you're jeans, there but because you're you want to be exactly. there. Exactly. You're there because you want to be there. And you're there and you're fed. To worship. And, yes. Uh, isn't it joyful? Yes. It gives me goosebumps yeah. thinking. Because it's like you, I, I go and I, you know. And the music? I don't, and the music. I can't sing. I can't sing anyway. <laughs> but I could sometimes mouth the words. But I just start crying. So I'm like, I'll just listen. Yeah. <laughs> I'll listen and I'll read. But it is. It, it's just. It's so different and so, it's so different. joyful. Yeah. yeah, and it's joyful. And it's a relationship that yeah. you now have with, with Jesus. That mm -hmm. I don't know, for some reason, and my temple experience was that, it just so distant from him. He was just kind of a footnote in the temple. Yeah. And never, I mean, we started out talking about be, him being our older brother. Right. Well, that was a hit in He's the head God. for me. Yeah, when tell us about that because I, I know you had a couple of little experiences that happened. I did. I re and I was watching. I was watching Sean McCraney on the iPad one day, and he said, "Jesus Christ is not your older brother." And Boing. I was. It was <laughs> truly. It was like I literally thought, "Then who is he?" I really did. Yeah. Then who is he? I was baffled. And then I started reading him like, he's our creator. We learned he's our creator. And then, and the, and then the, you ran across the Hinkley thing. Oh, and the Hinkley thing. Yes. I started this watching. This was soon after, right? Yeah, it was, it was probably within a few months or oh. so because I was just reading everything yeah. I could find. So I came across a 60-minute interview with, with President, President Hinkley. Hinkley, and he said that the Bible, I don't remember, remember the exact wording, but he said that the biblical Jesus was not the Mormon Jesus. The traditional the, Jesus is not the the Mormon, the Jesus that I speak of. Yes. Or something like yes. that. Yes, and yeah. I was thinking, well, who are you talking about then? I mean, that was another one. I'm like, he's not my brother, and he's not the one that the Mormons believe. And so that was a whole... That, I, I, But yet I was excited at the same time. Yeah. Because it was like... It wasn't me. That is why. I think that's true. You see, it's not me. Yeah. There was, there was something wrong with the whole yes, system here. Yes, it was here. that. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Everything. And something, Jesus telling me, this is not it. And I knew it was not correct, but I didn't know what to do with that. Yeah. Didn't know how to. And then. And then starting getting to be fed at church and so on. Yes, was really and was learning and about forth. grace and oh, and the veil. I I didn't know about um, the law. I, yeah, yeah. And grace I, and grace works. Grace and, and works. And I. What did you think of grace as a Mormon? I had to do everything. I, st I still remember and then in Jesus seminary. Jesus does the little yep. last little bit. And I remember in seminary, the teacher drawing the ladder on the board, <laughs> and he says, you do everything you can do, and you're climbing the ladder to heaven. He's making it sound yeah. wonderful. No Jesus. No Jesus, yeah. until, you know, and then you die, <laughs> and then Jesus comes down and makes up the rest. Yeah. That's... And that's what I thought of grace. Yeah. And then when I learned, no, it's a free gift 
given free. And you can know that if I die today, I'm going directly to heaven. That's confident, isn't it? Yeah. And I don't have to, I didn't have to pay. Not that that's, you know, I, God, Jesus loves a cheerful giver. Sure. No problem with that. That's great. Right. But do the good law, works good because works, yes. we love. And I do good works because I want to, yeah. not because I'm afraid not to do them. I isn't do them because I want to do them. Isn't it interesting that I never had that concept of Jesus' righteousness Yeah, uh, is what yeah. makes me even able to come before God. It's right. what Jesus did for me and his righteousness that, yeah. that gives me that yep. opportunity. That's right. And, uh, and so I did thought, you start getting into the Bible then? And Yeah, I started getting into the Bible when I learned about the veil, you know, as like the veil was rent. You know, when I'd never heard or I guess I right? read it, but I never thought about what it meant. Mm -hmm, right. And when he said it is finished and the and the hill was torn in two and it was this enormous thing that God can just, you know, tear it Once in half. for all, he goes in and sheds his yes, own blood. And it's over. And then I and then I think right back about Joseph Smith. I'm like, and you tacked it right back up just so you could control, <laughs> you know, I that's mean. That's right, he did. Yeah. It's all man-made. All man-made, and that's what I would think when I'd be in the temple. I would think this seems so man-made. Did you know any of the Masonic relationship at that mm, point? And, I didn't know what any of that was, but I just thought, why are we doing this? Why would God, why? Why does he need to Why do does he this? need these secret handshakes and yeah. tokens? He's God. I just couldn't get past that, you know. Oh, Carrie, it's just <laughs> it's just so f amazing to hear that progression of thought, and and it's just so joyful, like we said. Yeah. And it, we talk about the bad news a lot, but this good news is just joyful, oh, isn't it? I, when I read um, John's, my favorite yeah. book, yeah. I and I started I started reading. I just read right through, and I don't know what I was thinking that it, I was like, they're each, and, and, and I felt so stupid, and, you know, and I look back and it was like, they're each the same story, but their version. I don't know if I thought I was gonna read a novel, <laughs> you know, or, or what, but it was just their perspectives of yeah. being with Jesus, you know, and each one has, a, each book has its own little, yeah. It's all on golden there. nuggets in it, you know. Yeah, and John is so fantastic. Yeah. I'd encourage every LDS and all people to, to start with John and read it. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, and see the witness that he has there. And, yep. And just how glorious. Well, gosh, I guess we're getting near the right. end. Anything you want to share with your family or friends? Uh, and Just if you have questions and you doubt, look, look, don't do that. Oh, you're not supposed to read this. Well, they don't want you to read things because they're hiding something. <laughs> you know, I mean, if... Well, that's so true. It, it is. It's like, if it's wrong, you're going to know that it's wrong. You can yeah. read it and you can prove the wrong thing is wrong, you know? Yeah. But if it's right, you're going to prove that that's right. Now, just to ask you, because we just passed conference, so I don't know when this will air necessarily, but... Um, do you ever listen to any of the conference I can't at all? Do it. It's kind of hard, isn't it's it? It's very hard to listen. I'm actually writing reviews of some of the talks, so I'm <clears throat> getting into them and reading them a little. But it's hard. It is it's hard. It's difficult because they. Well, you were saying this, and I don't know if you said this here or before we started, but you were nudging your. Oh. Nudging a friend. I was Tell us a, that story. I was, I was with. Um, my sister. That was we before a, we started, right? Yeah, okay. we were at a funeral, and we were <laughs> in the chapel, the LDS funeral, and the bishop got up and he was given his talk or whatever, you know, <laughs> and he was, and I don't, I don't remember specifically what they were, but he would say something, and I'd nudge my sister and go, "That's wrong." <laughs> <laughs> he'd say something that's else. That's not and right. I'd not, I, that's what I'd say. I'd nudge him. I'm like, that's not right either. And then, and then he'd say something. I'd go, that's right. You know, when he said something right, I'd say, that's Give him okay. Credit for it. But most everything was like, that's that's wrong. That's wrong. And she's like, a, will you stop it? Because we were in, in the church. And as a Mormon, you probably, years before, you probably would have just sat there and oh, yeah. in the glow just of the so, moment. Yeah, of like, oh. This feels so good. Yeah. yeah, and it's like, now it's like, nope, that's wrong. No. 
what's wrong. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Anything last minute or last second here to, to um, share? No, just Jesus is study and everything. Study and, yeah. and invite him into your life. Yeah. And that he's all that matters. Did you ever say Jesus much as a Mormon? Not out not to myself, you, yes. Did but you? not. Well, you said Savior, Redeemer. Savior, yeah. The Lord, or, or, or Heavenly Father. Yeah. You know, a lot the, Heavenly Father. A lot Heavenly Father. And now Jesus is the guy, he's my, the main guy. <laughs> well, it's a personal relationship now yeah. that we just don't have as Mormons. And, yeah. But I'm proud of you to be able to make that transition because so many don't. And, yeah. And once, you, once you find it, you can't go back. Yeah. All righty. I guess right. that's it, huh? Thanks for having me. Oh, my pleasure. And thanks so much for sharing your story. We'll see you next time here on the Ex-Mormon Files.